Okay, here we've got a two-way table. So when we've got a two-way table, they often give us missing values, missing numbers that we've got to find. So if we look at this French column here, there's 22 boys and a total of 60 people. So from that, we can work out how many girls there are. So what do we have to add on to 22 to get 60? That's 38. So we know that that missing number there is 38. Again, we can do the same thing here. So going down here, the totals column, we've got 60 people doing French, 28 doing German. We don't know how many doing Spanish, but we know there's 120 people in total. So we've got 88 people here. What do you have to add on to 88 to make 120? Or 120 take away 88. That's 32. So 32. It's the missing number there. Then let's look at the, but the bottom ones. So the boys, there's 58 boys. We don't know how many girls, but there's 120 in total. So what's missing? It's going to have to be 62. And the Spanish column over here. Spanish box, Spanish boys. So there's 10 girls doing Spanish, a total of 32 people. So there must be 22 boys. So we've got, going down the boys now, 44, 22 plus 22. How many more? 14. And this is going to be 14 here as well. Okay, now the questions at the bottom. So a student is selected at random. What's the probability they're a boy studying German? So boy studying German, that's here. So it's 14. Out of how many in total? There's 120 people in total. So it's 14 out of 120. A girl is selected at random, so only the girls this time. What's the probability that she studies Spanish? So it's 10 out of 62 because they've only selected girls. Okay, you may find that they give you a two-way table question without giving you the two-way table. So in this case, we've got to draw our own table and then fill in the gaps. So we've got a shop selling tea, coffee, and hot chocolate. So we're going to have tea, coffee, and hot chocolate. And then we're going to have a total at the bottom. And then it's across the weekend, which is they've got Saturday, Sunday and total. So we make ourselves a two-way table. And let's start filling the information. So 500 drinks were sold in total. So the total total is going to be 500. On Saturday, 290. So Saturday, 290, 150 teas on the Saturday. 40 coffees on Sunday. And 84 coffees over the whole weekend. And 160 hot chocolates. Okay, so now we just have to fill in the missing information again. So let's look at the totals column. 290 plus what makes 500? That's 210. Then this one looks nice here. So we've got something plus 40 is 84. That'd be 44. Then we do this one. So we've got 160 plus 84 so far. That's 244. And we need to make 500. So 500 minus 244. That is 256, 256. And so we've got T's at the top, 150 to get to 256, that would be another 106. And we've got 146 here, so 210 minus 146, that's going to give us 64, 64 there. And 160 take away 64, 160 take away 60 is 100, take away another 496. 
How many teas were sold on Sunday? Teas, Sunday. The answer is 106. Okay, pause the video and try and give this one a go. Let's start over here. So we've got 121 plus 110. That's 231. What do you have to add on to 231 to get 350? Well, 19 to make 250 plus 100. So 119. We've got 68 here and 119 here. So add one to get to 69 then another 50 so 51 here i've got 58 and 51 that's 109 so if i add on three to get to 112 and then another 60 so 63 63 to get to 110 uh, 7 to get to 70, plus another 40, so 47. Let's do the totals at the bottom. So 172 to get to 350. So 28 to get to 200, plus another 150, so 28 and 150. That's 178. And the top one along here. So 3 to get to 61, plus another 60. So 63. Okay. A student is selected at random. What's the probability they're a boy in year nine? Boy, year nine. It's 47. It says probability, so 47 out of 350. A year eight student is selected at random. So it's only the year eight line. Probability they're a girl. So 51 out of 119. 